Jake from the Gig Harbor Fly Shop and welcome to this episode of our vlog where we we'll give you some updates about things that we have going on with the shop, the channel, all that great stuff. And we've had a lot going on. In fact, you might have noticed, but I haven't really been posting much stuff on YouTube recently. And that's because we have been working on a intro to fly tying online course that's going to be on our online platform. So we have an introduction to fly fishing course that's already on there, a Puget Sound saltwater course as well. And now we're rolling out an intro to fly tying class. And so this has been a lot of work to film and edit and all that kind of stuff. And so we're really excited about it. It's done. We're going to add more as we go, but right now it's done. It's going to be only $19, but we're going to get you a 50% off coupon code. So you can jump in for only $9.50. We're going to put that uh, down in the link below in the description. So check that out. If you're a brand new fly tire, this is going to be super helpful. The other thing that we've been working on a bunch is our podcast. We brought it back. We've had a podcast for a couple of years and we let it sit dormant for a while and we didn't realize how many people were actually listening to it. And we had looked at the analytics not too long ago and we're shocked. We got to go where the people are at. They want the podcast. So we got the podcast back. So make sure you check that out. We recently had San Flea, our buddy from Hobosh, Mexico. And then we followed that up with Nick English from Grundens. Um, Jack and Doug from the shop have been on it as well. And we got some new episodes coming out with uh, Eileen from the Mayfly Project, Brian Bennett from Moldy Chum, and John Kovich, who helps us put together all of our Cuba trips. We have some other stuff planned for the podcast as well. So we're really excited to keep that rolling. We have kind of like a bank of them already edited down now and recording just um, just kind of rolling them out um, one at a time. So super excited about that. So those are all video on YouTube as well as audio on all of the podcast apps. And so whether you're on Apple or Spotify or whatever, it's, it's all on there. Make sure you subscribe to it so you get it updated when it comes out. We recently hosted the Fly Fishing Film Tour F3T and oh man, it was a blast. We've been doing this for like well over a decade. Many of you have been there almost every year. Uh, 2021 was the only year that we didn't do it. Um, and we raised a ton of money for the Wild Steelhead Coalition, about 3,500 bucks. So thank you to um, all of you that were there that bought tickets and showed up to be supportive and um, bid on something in the, uh, the auction. Thanks to everyone that bought beers to support the Wild Steelhead Coalition as well. We're really pumped to be able to be supporting wild fish. Uh, thanks to all of our manufacturers and reps and um, all the industry people that all helped us out with getting us product to be able to put that in the auction. So it takes an entire fly fishing community to really care and protect the fish that we love to fish for. Uh, and so, hey, it's good to be on the same team together. Thanks, guys. Okay, the last part for this vlog today is uh, unboxing. I don't know what to call this segment of it. Uh, it's I got some really cool, fun stuff that I'm going to get to try out. And I wanted to share with you about it right here first. First is this new really cool boot from Patagonia. These come out in August and um, they have a very aggressive Vibram sole on here that I'm really excited to try out on the beach tomorrow. And they are super lightweight. So um, it kind of reminds me of like the lightweight Patagonia boots that they had um, maybe a decade or so ago that uh, they weren't super durable, but they were like just they fit so nice and we're so light. These things though are durable just by looking at how uh, the construction is on these things. Man, I'm, I'm really excited about them. So thanks Bruce, thanks Patagonia for giving me a pair of boots. I'm looking forward to trying these things out and um, you will see them in an vi upcoming video very soon. Okay, we are not done with footwear yet. Corkers just came out with a new Swift sandal and all access shoe. And um, these are gonna be great for on the water. And uh, they just sent me a couple of these to try out. And um, if you're part of our Fly of the Month Club, guess what? You might win a pair of these. We have a couple pairs from Corkers that, um, that we're gonna be raffling off for those in our Fly of the Month Club. So if you're not a member, join us with Fly of the Month. Uh, we do monthly giveaways and, um, and it's super exciting to get some great product like this from Corkers. And this is the Swift Sandal and then the all access shoe, crazy lightweight. Uh, this one has felts on it. This one has their new trail track grip that um, I really am interested in trying this thing out. It's uh, it, it feels like it's gonna be pretty sticky in the wet environment. 
The Vibram Ido Grip is a, is a rubber sole that I've been using in my Corker's boots as well, in the studded version as well as the regular, and I've really liked it. So I'm really curious to see how the trail track, uh, how that compares and how that's different to be tested very soon. Okay, this next one's a big one and I need the whole table for it. Okay, this is a folding fire pit from Winterwell. And this is a heavy duty stainless steel construction folds down to, to like nothing. This is, I mean, it's heavy, it's really heavy, but it's crazy durable and, um, and it packs to take up very little room. So I'm really excited to, uh, to try this thing out. And, but I wanna give you a sneak peek of this thing first. I need to get a bigger table. Okay, this part here, not only does it kind of store all of the other parts, but it also folds out to either be a base for the fire pit or it, you can use it as an accessory table. The fire pit itself is in two parts. So this is the base part and then And then here's the top part. Now, a couple of things about this. They have a, uh, a charcoal plate as an accessory. So if you're not gonna just burn wood and you wanna use this as a barbecue with some charcoal in it, you can put that in there. There is a carrying case for this as well. And then there's also grates. Okay, here it is fully assembled. This is the extra large size. They have four different sizes and a uh, super big shout out to Winterwell. Thank you so much for supporting us and the channel. We're gonna be highlighting this in a video coming up on one of our camp out trips out to the coast. Uh, but they also sent us two other of the large size, just the one down from this, that we are gonna be giving away to some of you. We have two of them. So um, if you're a Fly of the Month member, that's gonna be the giveaway for um, our summer giveaway coming up here very soon. So um, if you're not signed up for Fly of the Month, check out the link down below so you can sign up and potentially win one of these super cool barbecues. Hey, thanks for checking out this episode of the Gig Harbor Fly Show. And we are, uh, we're super pumped that summer is, is right here around the corner. We have a lot of trips that are happening right now. We have some group trips. If you don't have a fishing buddy to split a guide trip with and you wanna join in with some other people, we have some of those scheduled on the calendar where you can just jump in and join a guide trip. So some of these group trips, we are, are doing evening bass trips. Uh, there's a couple of those coming up on the books. We also are doing some half day sea run cutthroat trout trips out in Puget Sound. Um, we have a two day camp out down to Mayfield to go fish for muskies. That's a great group trip. Plus some of our Nia Bay stuff that we're doing. We have three Nia Bay trips on the books. So, uh, so check those out, join us on a trip. Um, we're gonna have a lot of fun this summer. If you wanna just book a single day guide trip, we're doing half day trips for bass. We're doing half, half day and full day trips for trout as well um, on lakes. For both of those, we're doing trout stream trips coming up here uh, when things start to open up in June. So for July and August, July, that's a great, uh, great option for that one. And then we're doing kayak and beach trips, uh, half day trips for Sea Run Cutthroat in Puget Sound, and then full day kayak trips as well. So that means there's a lot of options. So check out our website, look at all the stuff that we have on there and join us out on the water this summer. Uh, summer goes by quick, maximize it. Take, take some time off, get out on the water. Uh, maybe just get up early, go hit the beach early. I mean, it's sunny at like five in the morning. Hopefully you get tons of fishing in this summer and I hope we get the opportunity to help you have success out on the water this summer. We wanna be supportive. Leave a comment down below. Thanks so much for just being great customers. We love you guys and uh, we're looking forward to having a great summer fishing with you.